Hey, what's going on, world? Welcome. Hello, friends and neighbors. JT here. How have you been? I've been, no, it's been about, oh, maybe a month or so that I haven't made a video, but I thought I would say, hello, how are you? And check on you guys and see how you guys are doing. I really do appreciate all of the new followers that I have and the new friends that I've made via YouTube. Um, I love all you guys. And uh, yeah, what do you want? Someone's honking out there, of course. Um, I've changed my setting a little bit here. I am my, uh, I'm in my tool shed in my 120 year, uh, my 120 year workbench that the original owner built back in the early 1900s. And um, I love working in here just because it's, you know, you, you find stuff every day. I, I found this, you know what? Hold on one quick second. I'm gonna show you something I found in this garage that you get a kick out of, hold on. I'll be right here. Uh, okay, got it. I was clearing out the rafters the other day and I came across this. Tell me if you guys know what this is. Uh, well, of course it's a beer bottle, but um, it says here, Standard Brewing Company, Sparkle Ale from Rochester, New York. I looked them up. And they went out of business in 1970. This garage was built in the early 1900s. And the way that they hid this bottle is, I think what they did was when they finished building the rafters upstairs, they built this into the wall because I was doing some work and uh, some support work in the garage because it's bowing a little bit. And I had to replace one of the main supports. And I found this which I think is really cool. Um, this thing has probably been there for 80 years. I don't know if maybe he was repairing the garage or this was by one of the builders or maybe the guy just wanted to leave me a little present for a time capsule type, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, I know that's off the subject of knives, motorcycles and guns, but I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, I'm sure there's some beer lover out there. I appreciate that story. So, um, the last video I made, I was talking about some knives that we see here, some that are new that I have not talked about before, but I want to first give you guys an update on a knife that I reviewed last time, and that's this oh, Guardian Recon 35. Uh, I think it's a very, very lovely knife. Elmac Steel 3.5 inch, I'm sorry, 3.3 inch blade. Uh, I, I think it's a it's a very very cool blade um nice carbon fiber inlay in there and i think i think this is a really quality knife um so what i did was you know i was i was when i received this knife it's like one of these knives that you get it's like wait a minute i i can't carry this thing it's way too pretty but i i went out of my comfort zone and i said you know what not only am i going to carry it but i'm going to work it to death um, I wasn't able to work it to death, but I did, I did beat it up a little bit doing some remodeling in the house and I, uh, I had some riding windows and I used this knife to get all the riding wood out and caulk and I, I use it a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not going to tell you exactly everything I did with it because, uh, I don't want the guardian people to send me a nasty gram, but anyway, I put it to the test and I, I did, I was able to chip that point and the blade um i don't know if you can see there but i did send it back because i read that for ten dollars you ship it to them and well you you ship it to them with a check and close for ten dollars and they will give it a little spot treatment which i don't know if they did or not and um they did a good job you know sharpening it up but I did think I got some caulk probably in the blade there. And it, the blade was was hesitating and deploying. And, you know, I left a little note saying exactly what the problem was. It came back fine. It came back perfect. Um, but the only qualms that I have is when they sent it back, you know, they didn't send me a note saying what they did, if they took it apart or not. Uh, if they found anything, they basically sharpened it, oiled it. I really don't know if they took it apart or not and cleaned out the gunk or just put a bunch of oil on there. It did come with a lot of oil on the blade. So I don't know if they just threw a ton of oil down there and 
just did this a hundred times to clean it or if they actually took it apart or what i i can't tell um you tell me how they did sharpening this blade i think i think they did a pretty decent job it came pretty pretty sharp and um i know i took a chunk out of that point because i did a lot of uh i did a lot of hard use on this knife so it's a knife that you can be attracted to and at the same time beat up a little bit so all in all i think their customer service is i'd say good but the only thing i would have liked is um i would have liked a little note saying this is what happened this is what what we did this is what was wrong with it um, and they also didn't let me know they were shipping it back. I didn't get a tracking number to get it back. What if it would have got lost? They just shipped it in the same package that I shipped it to them. So I don't know. I would have appreciated a routing number so that uh, if anything happens to it, I get it back and I know where it is. Um, and maybe a note saying exactly what happened. And how about a sticker? I like stickers. They could have sent me a sticker. But anyway, all in all, I'm pleased with this knife and. Um, I bought this at Blade HQ and they are out of stock. I don't know if they're gonna make this again, this type of uh, configuration with the carbon fiber handle, but um, I like it. Anyway, all right, let's put that aside. And one thing that I am going to review today that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do just quite yet because um, I, I want this to be the grand finale is I have a new boker here, Kalashnikov, the latest and the greatest. And it's also, the biggest ever so stay tuned for that but i want to talk about a couple things on the table here uh giveaway i am going to do a giveaway here so one of these knives i'm going to give away so stay tuned i will tell you exactly what you need to do i already did one giveaway so i think it's time to do another one just because this knife was given to me and this is the one i'm going to give away right here this mora and um i feel like passing it on and giving it to someone else all right the other thing i want to talk about is this holster here Versa carry holster. Um, I've been carrying it for about a month and a half now. As you can tell, it's broken in really nicely. It's taken a nice shape to my Glock 26 front and back, and it carries beautifully. All I can tell you right now is the, um, I had a, uh, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't even think right now. I had uh, one of these, one of these uh, poly, holsters and um i'm i'm putting that to the side this thing is a kydex i this 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 thing is 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 phenomenal i don't even i can't even tell that i'm carrying my my side i'm gonna have this thing on it's so comfortable it just hugs your waist uh your side and i love this extra magazine that i'm able to put in here usually i carry this backwards usually i carry my extended mag here um but i just thought just for the hell of it you know i think it was extra hot one day and i had um some shorts on that uh you know kind of tighter shirt so i i did this is the way i normally carry the gun but let me tell you i'm really pleased with this with this versa carry um i would definitely buy another one and i highly recommend it versa carry is not sponsoring me or sending me anything for free although feel free too um but i am really really pleased with this holster so i'm giving a thumbs up to that all right uh, one knife that I showed a really long time ago on my uh, on my channel when I was opening up a box from Benchmade was this Luku. It's I don't know how to pronounce it. Liku, Luku. It's uh, L E U K U, and they consider it to be a bushcrafter knife. Five point one nine inch blade of CPM thirty V beautiful steel drop point blade. Um, they call this handle Santa Preen. It just feels like rubber to me. And it's a full tang blade. Let me tell you, this thing is phenomenal. I went camping about two weeks ago and I baton the living crap out of this. I also did some fire starting here with my little uh, flint starter here. And it took, it took a nice, uh, yeah. throw that flash down. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it threw down some flash pretty good. It'll leave a little bit of a mark on the blade, but it cleaned up pretty well. I just oiled it, and you can see a little scuffs I left on there. But let me tell you, this edge held up phenomenal. I have not paper tested this yet. Let me just do that just for the heck of it. And, you know, if it cuts paper... Oh, let's see. 
I, I, I mean, I baton the crap out of this knife, so I wouldn't be surprised if I need to sharpen it. I haven't even sharpened it at all, but I did a lot of batoning. Three days of firewood worth, and it feels sharp, but obviously it's lost its paper edge. So I'm pleased with this. I would, I would highly recommend it. And if it's a uh, type of a camping knife that you need, um, I think I'm going to give this knife a thumbs up. All right. What's new and new and uh, awesome with me today? Well, I've never owned a ProTec knife. And let me tell you, I am super excited about this little guy right here. This guy is a ProTec CQC7. I guess it's one of the original tactical knives that's been around for years. And ProTec has been making this knife for a long time. This Tanto blade, 3.25 inch blade 154 cm steel which is you know it's back in the day this 154 cm was like top of the line now it's a good steel i wouldn't say it's the best but what i like about this blade is um about this knife is that it's a combination handle you got g10 on this uh on the show side here and then you have aluminum on this side this is an exclusive that i purchased from dlt trading and they sent me this cool sticker here also um, they're in Wisconsin, but I am really, really impressed by this. And let me tell you, for the price that you pay with this, you pay a lot less than you would with a Microtech. And also you would pay a lot less than you would with a Benchmade. But let me tell you, I am really impressed with this knife. Let me try to paper test with this. I've been using this knife for the past two or three days, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if I lost the edge on this also. Let's see. Yeah. I'm not doing very well with these paper tests, am I? I've been using this knife, and uh, so maybe can use a little bit of a of a sheen on there. But I'm pretty impressed with it. The action is really cool, and um, the spring is is extra heavy duty. I love it. So let's put that aside. All right, let's talk about what the showstopper is today. So as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, I did this little guy right here, the Boker Kalashnikov Dessert Warrior, which <laughs> it's it's probably my most popular video right now with like 1,500 views. I I absolutely love this knife. My, my wife has been bugging me to keep it, but I'm not going to give it to her anyway. Um... But it's it's a gimmick knife and it's it's pretty cool, and this is its its little baby brother or baby sister I guess because of the color. But what I have here is the latest by Boker, and I think they are assembling these in house at Blade HQ. If I'm not mistaken, mistaken, um, uh, Rebecca from Blade HQ can give you some more answers to that, and you can contact her at extension one three zero. If not, you can chat with her also. Did you know that you can request people to chat with at Blade HQ? If you want to chat, just go into the website, click the chat button and say, is Rebecca around? And she will gladly ch talk with you about knives and she knows her stuff. So let's do this. Let's unbox this guy. I have, uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did take a peek at it. I have not opened it yet, but I did take a peek and I closed the box and I said, holy crap, as soon as I saw it, it's, uh, it's another one of these ridiculous knives it's the Boker Kalashnikov XXL. And I, I originally saw this knife on a, uh, on a WOW episode of Blade HQ. And I said, are you really going to make this knife? Oh, yes, they did. It was a prototype probably two months ago. And yes, they did make the knife. And it is an auto and it's a beast. Ready? Here we go. Yes. I <laughs> D2 steel. 10.62 uh, inches total length here. Yes, 10.62 inches. I am not lying. Let's let's see if it really is. Yeah, it's total, it's yeah. That's right on. 10.62. This thing is an absolute gargantuan of a knife. It's uh, 4.75 total as far as the blade goes. 
it's an aluminum handle. You know, I thought that this was kind of like a grivery or or whatever that is, but it's aluminum. It doesn't feel like it. Um, it's a tip-up carry, right-handed and left hand. You can do a little switcheroo on here with if you want to. And it's made in Taiwan, so hey, what do you want? But this thing is only like 54 bucks. Where can you get, an, number one, an automatic knife with aluminum handle, D2 steel, for 54 bucks? Is that a production number? Is it? 652? Hold on for a second. Let me see something. I got number 467 here with the Dessert Warrior. So I, because I think this is limited. I'm not sure if that's a production number or not. Can anyone from Blade HQ comment on that? I got number 0652. Um, I have not paper tested this, so let's see. I'm not doing very good with paper test today. Let's see what happens. Um, is it me, or do I not how to cut? Do I not know how to cut paper? Am I not holding it right? Okay, it cuts paper. Whatever. Um, I have never been really that impressed with the sharpness of the Kalashnikovs, and um, but let me tell you, this is. Is it practical? I, I I have no idea, but I, as soon as they said they were going to make an XXL version of this, I said, yeah, I need one of those. For 54 bucks, can't go wrong. Um, all right, so talked about the pros. I think it's cheap. It's, it's you have to get the, the as, as you see the history going going about here with 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 the sizes, I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty funny to see the progression of this. I mean, what's, what's next? They call this also a buoy. And um, I can see why, you know, because of the blade type type point there. It's a clip point type blade, which traditionally Bowie knives have a clip point blade. So I get it. Was it really a Bowie knife? Eh, I don't think so. Um, one negative thing I'd like to say about this is it does not completely spring into action the way I would like. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, for those... Uh, that have more knowledge than I do as far as coming from Blade HQ. I think they might have used the same spring as your smaller ones. And I think this probably should have used a beefier spring because I can feel the lag in it. As soon as you hit the button, it's like, boom. Um, it's a huge blade. I, I understand that. But um, let me see something here. Yeah, I think there's there's plenty of room to put in a beefier blade in there. If they ever do upgrade that, I would like to I'd like to see that. What what's 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 going on there? What does that say? You see that? It's pretty cool. Nice little touch there. Um, but I like the open design here with the spacers. I don't know what kind of spacers those are. I know, I'm guessing aluminum. Um, this really does feel like either grivery or one of those the plastics but um it's aluminum that's what they said it's it's a cool it's a cool one i like it anyway i got that tell me what you think leave me some uh comments on that tell me if you think this is a an aberration or if this is practical or impractical or is this is just something that you know it's a gimmick um am i going to what am i going to do with this thing the lockup is okay there's a little tiny bit of play in there front and back but i mean what do you expect for 54 bucks? I mean, I think it's funny. And um, I opened it in front of my son the other day. And he was like, what the heck is that? What can make this look small? I mean, this is the mini here. And there is the XXL. This is the regular Desert Warrior. This is your Desert Warrior. Um, and here is a Kershaw Blur. Just for size comparison. Uh, yeah, this this thing is, is gigantic. But anyway, what could dwarf this? How about this? Oh, <laughs> uh, this is by uh, this is by Cold Steel. They they consider this to be a Bowie knife, but it's really a machete. Um, made in South Africa. I don't even know what kind of steel this is. I'm guessing it's D2 steel. Um, it's, it's crude. You can tell that the, 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 uh, the shapes here are, 
the, the uh, grinds are, are kind of uneven here, but again, this is, this is a $20 knife and I didn't expect much from that. So anyway, I'd like to say thanks very much for you guys for tuning in. Oh yeah, I forgot the giveaway. Did I say I'd like for you guys to like, subscribe, and hit that bell? I'd be more than happy to go into your living room whenever you subscribe and watch my videos. I appreciate that. So let's do a giveaway. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away this Mora Made in Sweden knife. This is a really nice bushcraft knife. Um, very popular. You can see thousands of videos of this knife on YouTube. So here's what you're going to do. If you want this knife, subscribe, comment. And I'm going to tell you what to comment on. I've never reviewed a hat before. And I'd like to talk about this cool hat. I like to wear hats. And I bought this hat here on a website called the Angry Minnow Vintage website. And if you can tell me who this character is, what I want you to do is make a comment. And if you don't know who it is, take a guess. And that's what I want you guys to comment. Tell me what TV show that was from and and more or less what year but this is a really cool hat i like it a lot so i got that from uh angry minnow vintage so tell me number two who that character is and what tv show it was from or either or send me an instagram message at moto knives and guns by jt yes that's moto knives and guns by jt and then share and uh send me an instagram message with um that's how you're going to enter your uh, the contest. And I'm going to pick someone randomly as soon as you know all the answers and send them this knife. I hope to do that within, I don't know, let's say before my next video. All right. Cool. Anything else I need to talk about here? All right. So I talked about the Boker, the Protect, the Benchmade, the Versicaria, and the Guardian, the Versicaria and the Guardian Recon. Anyway. That's all I really have to say. I'm going to leave you with this cool Kershaw blur. And um, that's really it. Oh, one more last, one last thing. If you guys want to send me anything, such as stickers or knives or anything to review, hats, you can send anything to JT, P.O. Box 14736, Rochester, New York, 14614. And I appreciate that. And I promise you, if you send me anything cool, I will put it in my video. So have a good night. I appreciate all of you. Stay safe. Be well. Keep the shiny side up. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.